We now need to start thinking about our notes column over here on the right on our title block. Before we start, just check your drawings. As you can see, notes column complete. If you're going to work with the working file, you need notes column.dwg to follow along with the video. Now, we've already placed some text on the title text layer. Now, we did that in the previous video, but it's always a good sanity check just to nip back to the Home tab and check on the Layers panel. There it is, Title Text, so we're using the right layer. I'm going to go back now to the Annotate tab on the ribbon. Now, we're going to place some notes in the Notes column. We want to make sure that we create another text style. You can have as many text styles as you like in AutoCAD. It's always good to distinguish one from the other. So, in the Annotate tab on the ribbon, Text Panel, little angle arrow there, Text Style, click there, and we're going to click on New immediately. Now, we're going to give it the same naming philosophy, so this time it will be Notes, followed by an underscore, and then Layout, another underscore, this time 3. We're going to have the text 3 millimeters high. And then I'm going to click on OK. There's the new text style. Now, it's adopted the text style of what we had before. So we've got Vedana, and we've got Italic. This time we just want Regular, like so. And we're going to fix the height at 3 as per the text style description. Everything else we can leave as is. We'll apply it. We'll set it as the current text style and then close the dialog box. So you'll notice now, can you see notes layout there in the text panel is the current text style. Now using your mouse again, hold down the wheel, move the mouse and pan and then zoom in there like that. So you can see there that you've got a gap there where your notes column is going to go. Now, here's a little trick. Before you place the multi-line text that forms the notes on your drawing, switch off Polar, O-Snap, and O-Track. We don't want the text snapping to the corners exactly. We want to place it inside the lines. You'll see what I mean in a moment. We then go up here where it says multi-line text and select multi-line text on the flyout. And I'm going to come in here like that. And can you see that text is quite small? And then I'm going to click just inside. Can you see? And I'm placing the multi-line text just inside the lines like that. That's why I don't want the snap switched on. So I click there like that. So you can see there I've got a little ruler and everything. I've got a text editing area. More importantly, ribbon is updated to the text editor tab, which only comes up when you use multi-line text. So now what I can do is I can pan and I can zoom at any time. So zoom in so that you can see the top of your notes column and that it's reasonably easy to see. Make sure that you click inside the text editing area like that first before you start typing. So obviously we have notes and then a colon, something like that. Then I'm going to press enter. This time goes down to the next line down as you would in something like Microsoft Word. It's like a carriage return on a typewriter, it's going to the next line down each time. If I keep working down through this, every time I press enter, it drops me another line down. It will never close the multi-line text editor. If I want to close the text editor, I either click on the cross up here on the ribbon, or I click outside the text editor itself. So we're going to put our first note on the drawing here, which is all dimensions are in metric millimeters like so. So as you can see there, we've got all dimensions are in metric millimeters. I'm going to put a full stop there, or a period, as it's known in the USA. And then when I press enter again, you'll see that it drops me to the next line down in the multi-line text. Now, you can work this way if you want to, but a lot of companies, a lot of organizations have standard notes text that goes in the notes column on any drawing. So you can actually import that text from a document. You can use a TXT file or an RTF, a rich text format file, which you can save in any version of Microsoft Word. So if I go up to the ribbon now, up to my text editor in Tools here and click on the flyout, I can import text. So if I click Import Text, that'll bring up the Select File dialog box. And what I need to do is find that TXT file. Now, I don't want a TXT file, do I? I've just mentioned RTF. 
So all I do is change the file type and there's a do not scale from this drawing RTF. Now you will find that file in your working files for this particular video. So if I select that now and click on open, brings it in, but you know the best bit? It brings it in using the appropriate text. So what I can do now is I can actually update all of this and make sure it all uses the right text style. All I've got to do is highlight it all like that. And as you can see, it's using the notes layout three. Can you see that? I come up there, notes layout three. So it was using that all already. I didn't even need to change it, but sanity check, highlight it, just click on the style up here, and you can make sure that it's all using the same text style. It should bring it in as the same text style as you've got set in the drawing. Now, as you can see, the text itself there, it's looking okay, but we need to actually paragraph it and maybe even add some bullet points or some numbers. What we can also do is highlight the word notes perhaps and make that bold so it stands out. Now, what we can do is we can highlight the text that we want to be numbered, like so. Go up here to bullets and numbering again on the text editor tab on the ribbon and select numbered like that. And because of the way that the text was set out in the RTF file and in the notes column, it's tidied everything up for us. Can you see that? So it's taken every line from the RTF file and numbered them accordingly. Now I can either go up here and close the text editor or just click away from the text editor and my notes are now in my drawing. So that's your notes column complete. Double click on the wheel to zoom extent and now it's beginning to really look like a title block.